Stephanie Adams, Chief Empowerment Officer for WNY People Development with the fifth installment of our Teen Tip series. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't planning to do a video this week. After seeing what is going on across the country in response to the tragic death of George Floyd, putting a video about how to lead your team seemed really insignificant and disrespectful in this place that we are in. Um, there is so much pain. There is, is so much confusion, frustration uh, as people speak out against systemic racism. I took a step back though, and I realized that although these things are happening on our streets and we see the posts on social media, it's impacting business as well. You're seeing companies stand up and take a stand. Um, people are looking at their equity procedures, their processes to increase diversity. Um, they're having conversations. And as the leader, we have to create a safe space for our employees to talk about what's going on, regardless of their skin color. Um, so the team tip for today is to help you create that safe space. And if you look like me, you may not really know where to start. I know that my responsibility right now is to listen and to learn. And it's not about going to one of my friends of color and ask them to explain what's going on. It is my responsibility to listen and learn. So the team tip for today is to create a book club discussion around systemic racism for your team. This can be a voluntary option. It could be lunchtime discussion, but select a book that talks about the history, the impact, um, what does it look like in America today to be a person of color? We need to do better within our companies, within ourselves, we have to confront who we are. We have to acknowledge our implicit biases that we carry with us every day. And we have to have uncomfortable conversations. And I can pretty much guarantee that the people that are currently on your team at the office, even if they're not talking about what's going on, they're feeling it. And they may be feeling it for a lot of different ways. And we need to have these conversations. We need to confront it. So I'm going to list some books that have been suggested uh, by friends of mine and other researchers and experts within the field um, that may be a good starting point. Um, if you're not sure how to have that conversation, there's online resources that have been released. There are books that are out there that we can read. but the most important part is having the conversation and creating a safe space to say, Black Lives Matter, and this is why. And for those that have been persecuted for hundreds of years, we have to confront our sins as a country and the conversation has to happen. So team tip for today, Select one of the books from the list that I'm going to include in the description of this video. Now I will tell you, um, I've tried to order a few myself and they're getting hard to come by. And that's phenomenal because it means that people are trying to figure out what to do next. They're trying to educate themselves. They're trying to understand. And when we have understanding, we can move forward to make change. Um, so, Take a look at the, the books that are listed, select one, find out who on your team would like to be a part of this book discussion. I have a feeling in the environment that we're in, you're going to get a lot of takers. And that's where it starts. It starts about talking about tough conversations and putting them out in the open, being honest about our feelings. So team tip, bring it together, talk about systemic racism, and start talking about ways that your company can start to be the change. Why not you?